Hey guys, uh, I'm Anand, your tech guide at Tech Store, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to basically rip apart the latest uh, Lenovo IdeaPad S145 series of laptops. Now, it might be a quad core, Core i3, Core i4, or Core i7 variant. The procedure will apply to all these models. These are basically the successors to the 330S series of Lenovo laptops, and uh, we have it here hands on with us. So, before buying this particular laptop, you need to know what exactly the hardware is inside. So watch our video and make your decision. So if your laptop is uh, something that looks like this, when you open it, and the base of which is something like this, and the top panel might be a silver or a black or a gray, this is the way it looks, then this procedure is for you. First thing first, uh, you need to flip the laptop and keep it in this position. Take a star screwdriver and you have to open all the visible screws that are there. We'll start with the hinges screw here. You need to know that these four screws are shorter in length. You need to keep them aside. These screws are all of the equal length. They are larger in length, longer in length. There's a difference in size. Uh, so be very sure you put the right screws. Now you need to take a rectangular prior like this and start drying the laptop. Lenovo has made it as simple as possible for you to actually get to the base of the laptop. And uh, here it is. So very straightforward. Just remove the screws and the base is uh, exposed to you. This is the battery. The hard drive area, memory, and the Wi-Fi area, and the M.2 SSD area. You can put M.2 NVMe SSD also. So let's start by first removing the battery here. You can just remove the battery by removing this notch over here. You're good to go. Now, for people who want to replace the battery, they have to remove few screws. One, two, three screws, and the battery will be off. The battery is uh, basically a 4670 mAh battery. That is a 35 watt hour battery, and the rating is 7.5 volts. So if you want to replace the battery, you need to have a similar battery. The battery model name is L16M2EB2. So if you want to replace the battery, this is the battery that you need to get from the market. Now, coming to the hard drive area, it's connected to this particular SATA connector. It's glued completely. You just need to remove this particular data strip. Then you need to remove these two screws over here for the hard drive to be in your hand. Very gently, just remove all the gluing that is there and remove the hard drive. So you just need to remove uh, this strip connector very gently. Be very careful because this part here is very delicate. Don't put your pressure over here. Just remove it like this and it will be off. And uh, you can take a uh, up to 2 terabyte uh, SATA hard drive. It's a 2.5 inches SATA hard drive. Or you can also take a SSD, uh, SATA 2.5 inches SSD and you can install. You need to remove these one, two, three, four screws. Once you remove the screws, this uh, metal casing, the frame will give away and you can put another hard drive just again put the connector back as it is so coming to the ram area over here just need to use your two thumb fingers and very gently push and you will have the ram so it only has got one memory slot so the maximum ram upgrade capacity for a lenovo ideapad s145 is uh, not more than 16 gb actually one single slot of 16 gb ddr4 low voltage 266 megahertz low voltage memory is what you require just take a similar memory and uh, you can just insert it over here like this for the m.2 ssd you can buy a nvme ssd or a normal 2280 ssd so we right now have a m.2 western digital this is a 240 gb ssd that we are putting into this particular laptop it's a normal ssd m.2 2280 just take the ssd and insert it like this and uh, one thing that you have to do is you have to have a screw like this which does not come along uh, with the ssd and you just need to put it like this it's a little bit of a design issue here holding on to the fan here so this is a little design uh, issue that you know has integrated we need to live with it now because the ssd does not go below the fan let us put the things back be very very sure where these two go inside so these two notches in which uh, cavities where these notches have to go so be very very careful while you are putting it otherwise you might just damage the connector itself so it goes there and then you put the hard drive screws Put the connector back and you now need to put the battery back. 
this is the CMOS shell. Say five, six years from the point of time you have taken the laptop, if your time and date is not right, and you're getting a lot of errors, then you need to replace this. Just need to remove this CMOS shell over here. There is a connector, and you need to take a CRV32 battery inside and just remove it and replace it. I'll not do it right away, but uh, you can do it very easy. Once you remove the plastic stickering, the taping, you will see there is a small button cell battery that exists over here. This is the VGA cable. And the hinges are neatly designed actually. Most of the Lenovo laptops have issues with the hinges, but this one seems to be very nicely designed. Even the fan is uh, pretty neat. Uh, the ventilation seems to be in the right place. So all in all, uh, a good design to start with. After 330 years, the debacle that it was is much superior a design. Even the body is metallic, so looks good actually. This is a Wi-Fi chip here. Just remove this one screw over here and uh, you can replace the Wi-Fi chip. This is the Wi-Fi chip that you need to procure if your Wi-Fi has gone bad. These are the speakers here. One and two speakers. This speaker wire gets connected up to over here. Just remove this wire over here and remove the speaker. Very simple and straightforward if you want to replace the speaker. So let us now put the base back and uh, see how it goes. Let's start with the small screws. Pin screws. So in this video, we've shown you basically how to remove the base, which is very straightforward, which uh, Lenovo has surprisingly done for this particular model. And uh, you can replace your hard drive with the SSD, put a M.2 SSD, uh, increase the memory up to 16 GB DDR4, remove the CMOS shell if you're maybe four or five years from today that you're watching the video. And you can replace the battery, which you'll have to eventually after two years. So all in all, uh, before buying this laptop, this is the video that you should look at, without which uh, you'll not be able to make a buying decision. So all in a very good laptop. In the further video, we will also have a review done of how the usage of this laptop is after almost one month of usage. So all the parts and components uh, listed here are available on our website techstore.co.in. Thank you so much for watching guys. Uh, do let us know your suggestions and comments and do not forget to subscribe to us.